Hi, Taurus. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you guys so much for liking the video. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. I'm going to start by pulling you an angel number. Universe, give me an angel number for Taurus. Angel number for Taurus. Okay, 24. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and you are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. So you're being seen as generous by the people around you and compassionate. We have number nine at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys are ending a cycle and beginning a new cycle as well as what I'm getting. So in your friend circle, in your relationships in general, people see you as someone who is generous, kind, caring, the nurturer of the group. What else for Taurus? 24 could be a significant number to you. Yeah, there's a relationship that's over. Something, something's ending, so something else can begin here. Okay, it says no second chances. You guys are, you guys are either you're changing. So I'm getting like there's this old version of you. You know the <laughs> the old Taurus can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> okay, why? All right, for those of you who know, you know. But I'm just getting like there's this past version of you that is dead and gone. Okay. The past version of you that resonated with someone. Now, I, I don't know if this is a romantic relationship that's over or a friendship, but it's telling me the relationship is over because you no longer resonate with it. Seduction. Yeah, there's some ooh, Taurus. I see a really fun and passionate connection coming towards you. Is it possible that there's a new person that has entered your life that's making you forget all about the past? Okay. You got someone from your past and someone that is presently dealing with you. They're both spying on you. You have someone who wants to make new memories with you, and then you have someone from the past that's thinking nostalgically about you. So I am getting two people keeping tabs on you. You're going to be traveling. So I see you traveling with somebody new. Going to the beach or just traveling in general. I'm definitely seeing like the sun, water here palm trees, things like that. But the general message is you have a passionate, playful connection. I feel like maybe at first you thought it was just going to be a situationship, a hookup, but I'm getting it's going to turn into more. You and this person are really enjoying each other, Taurus, in the future. What else? What else for Taurus, please? Ace of Cups. Yeah, you have new love coming toward you, Taurus. Overflowing feelings for each other. Okay. This is a really refreshing connection I'm getting. I don't think you've ever experienced anything like this. Okay. Page of Pentacles. You manifested this person. You two manifested each other. Ten of Wands. You may be going through... What is this? So there's a new connection that may have a test of faith. What I say? 
Nine of Wands. So I will say that it looks like you may be carrying some old wounds with you, Taurus, from past situations. And then this new person comes in and you're about to, this is a big lesson on how to trust. There's something here that's going to weigh heavily on you with this new connection. And I'm getting at your trust issues with that nine of wands. But this is an opportunity, your guides are saying this is an opportunity to heal those inner wounds, okay? To figure out those trust issues. King of Cups, this person's falling for you. Okay, I'm, I'm just getting, Taurus, all around, like, I'm getting new love for you. Let's take a look at the singles. Hold on one second for us. Oh my God, I need to get it together, y'all. I think I'm going to start going to the gym and burning off the crazy before the readings instead of after. Okay. Taurus, please. Single Taurus. Well, hi there. Hello. Who's coming toward you, single Taurus? Who's coming toward you? Positive change in love. You're attracting someone that's going to want to look. They're going to, I heard kiss your feet. All right. Metaphorically speaking for some of you, maybe not, but we're not getting into that. They're going to want to like, I'm getting someone to worship you. I don't have the Empress out yet, but a complete different dynamic than what you have dealt with in the past. Completely different. Could be a fixed sign like yourself coming in, okay? An Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Y'all, nine of your dream come true in love. Whatever you've mani you manifested someone here. Some of you guys, you haven't met this person. Some of you have recently met this person. Be on the lookout for a fixed sign. Could be a water sign. Could be a Scorpio to be specific. But we also have Cancer and Pisces here. Yeah, you have a love offer coming in. I'm getting it's the one that's been worth. It's worth waiting for. Tell me more. What are their intentions? What are their true intentions for you from the get-go? In the beginning, what are their true intentions for you? To be your, your support? This person wants to commit right off the bat. They don't want to play no games. They want to get real serious real soon. Someone could be older than the other with the emperor and the knight here. Okay. They're serious about you. They're serious about this. This is someone that is not interested in playing they're not, they're going to show you how you're going to know who this person is. They're going to show you right off the bat that they are interested in something long term. You're not going to have to guess how this person feels about you either.
Tell me more. Could be an Aries or a Taurus. Oh my gosh, y'all have a relationship coming in. Now you get to decide what you want to do about that. This person's offering you commitment. This is someone who is interested in something traditional too, by the way. They want a traditional marriage. This is someone who, that's what that's what they see in their future. Now, the Tauruses that are going to resonate with this, this would be a dream come true to you. This is something you've always wanted. So, wow. Five of Wands in reverse. I heard you make it easy. I think that's a song. I think that's a, a country song. You make it easy. This is someone that wants to have a real, genuine connection. They're not about the drama. This is someone that wants open communication. They don't want any room for misunderstanding. They're serious about you. Tell me more, one more card please very serious about you. The devil already attached, instantly attached. Okay. I, I do feel like, can you clarify that devil? Capricorn energy, the world. There's only one downside. I wouldn't even call it a downside, but for some of you, it might be just be mindful of moving too fast. Because the world being here, it's almost like there's a connection. And especially with the Wheel of Fortune, this is like a whirlwind. It's like a sudden connection that just, it makes sense. And so it almost seems like things happen suddenly. Like all of the big steps happen suddenly. And so it's going to feel like this person like instantly wants to move in, instantly wants to get married, instantly, you know, and, and I would say don't rush the beginning phase of a connection. Because it's like an instant attachment. And so with that does come shadow aspects of each other with the devil. You know what I mean? So it's like a connection that will bring out your shadow side and their shadow side. I feel like this person may have a tendency to get a little jealous, okay? And I feel like you may have a shadow side that gets brought out too, like that first spread I just did could be some trust issues that develop. But this is an instant attachment and it can form, it can turn codependent. Do you get what I'm saying? So it, it, it's like, just be mindful of that in the beginning. But they want it all with you. I feel like you're going to have to set the pace of this is a major change. This is a major change in your life, Taurus. It's about to take place. And your guides are saying it's up to you to set the pace of the connection. Because this person's all in immediately. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Capricorn, Aries, possibly Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces. Okay. Let's take a look at the one where there has been a past incident with. Okay, the current slash past person is someone that you've established some sort of history with. for liking the video. I appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. What happened in the past between Taurus and this person? How would Taurus know this reading is for Taurus, please universe? How would Taurus know? The hanged man. 
the connection that kind of wasn't really going anywhere, okay? Kind of made you feel as if you were suspended in air. Some of you guys are letting go of this person, the hanged man. You've already let, let go of them or you're in the process of letting go of them. But it's just one of those connections that were stuck. It was stuck in limbo. Tell me more. Could be a Pisces for some of you. I'm getting someone it was really childish too. Okay. Someone was really childish, stuck in their ways, right? They couldn't see anyone else's point of view. They didn't see your point of view or they refused to acknowledge your point of view. The world, there was a lot of distance, emotional distance between you two. Could be physical distance here. Something significant coming out about travel. Take it or leave it, but there is something significant about travel. Could be another fixed sign, another Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. We do have Pisces here. It's telling me it was a really long, drawn-out ending. Or it still is. It's a long, drawn-out cycle ending. How do they see you? Some of you guys felt like you were left waiting. Waiting around for this person. But it almost looks like, to me, your perspective is shifting in the matter. Let's see. How does, how does this person see you right now? That you've put up a wall? They see you as the Queen of Swords, independent, having clear boundaries. Some of you guys may have directly said something to this person in the past. Uh, you know, they kind of see you as a little cutthroat. Wondering if you're holding a grudge. They think you're sending them mixed signals or you sent them mixed signals. They think you have other options. Huh. This person, they're telling me that you left them in the dark with what you wanted to do. So it's like, you're telling me you were waiting around for this person, but they're telling me they were waiting for you to make a decision or they are waiting for you to make a decision. Two of Cups, they want to be with you. Did somebody decide when it was too late? When you, because it, it almost looks like you're fed up with them. So it's like this person decided to make a decision when it was too late. Hmm. How did they feel about you? How do they truly feel about you, Taurus, the magician? They want you. This person feels like you sh you're supposed to be in their life. They also feel as if you hold some sort of power over them. How do they feel? How do they feel? Queen of Wands, very attracted to you. They feel like your confidence has improved, specifically. Okay, they feel like your confidence has improved. Uh, you're acting independent. You're acting determined. For some of you guys, it's almost like you're, you've completely changed. For some of you, okay, especially with this hangman, the world being here, this could, sorry about that, y'all. Oh my God, the FedEx people done scared the life out of me. Jesus. Why are they ringing my doorbell and then going to walk away? I'm going to disable that thing. Okay, and now that my soul has re-entered my body, <laughs> now that my soul has re-entered my body, they see you, this is someone that would have a different view on you, a different perspective on you than they did in the past. Do you get what I'm saying? Because the hangman is here. So it's almost like they didn't see you as confident in the past. But now they're seeing you as super confident, like you're really filling yourself. That unscared the life out of me, y'all. Tell me more. I don't answer my door for people. Let me tell y'all right now. I don't. I will look you dead in the face as you're knocking on my door. I really will. 
As a matter of fact, someone came to my door the other day soliciting something, and I looked out my window, and I didn't even say anything to them. I'm like, not answering the door for you. I'm not doing that. No. Could y'all imagine if I went around, like, the church? Like, don't get me wrong. It's okay. Whatever. I respect your, you know, beliefs. But could y'all imagine if I printed out flyers about the Matrix and I went around ringing people's doorbells and was like, Hi, I would like to tell you about this simulation we're living in. Do you have a few moments to hear about it? What are their next actions toward Taurus? What are their next actions? Just... <laughs> All is going to be right in the world. Let's just say that. So how they should have treated you in the past, things that they should have said to you in the past, you're about to receive some sort of karmic justice. The truth is going to be revealed. So I do see commu honest communication. This person is about to tell you how they honestly feel. And I feel like it's going to be up to you. Okay, I feel like it's going to be up to you. Because it is telling me you're going to feel like you've received some type of justice in this situation. And it's by the actions that they take toward you in the future. Will of Fortune. Dang. Oh, I'm getting chills. So it's like, you're about to feel really good. Some of you, they may have already confessed something to you, but this is like a confession coming in. Okay, this is putting the ball in your court. There's definitely some sort of turning point coming from this person. Like completely changing their mind or completely showing you this vulnerable side of them. Okay. Cause it's telling me they want to be with you now. It's telling me they're coming back around. That's their next actions. And it's going to give you a sense of, you're going to feel a sense of justice in the situation. Libra's here. More, a lot of fixed energy, okay? Could be Sagittarius for some of you. Virgo, Aries, Gemini. What do they want to say to you, Taurus? What do they want to say to you? I'm starting to understand our connection, which translates to this person is learning some type of lesson. There's something, you're teaching them a lesson, is what I'm getting. A lot of you guys, that's what they're coming through with this confession. They're going to express to you that they've learned some type of lesson. They've had some sort of change of heart. They see things differently now. They couldn't let you get close to them. This is someone that has a hard time opening up to people, okay, or being real in general. They definitely wear that mask all the time, but they're they're all of a sudden wanting to reveal themselves. They're all of a sudden wanting to let you in, take it off, because they, they miss being with you. You know what? I'm getting, this is somebody admitting to themselves and to you, in a sense, that they're not going to find anyone better than you. Why do I feel like they may have thought very highly of themselves in the past? Like, I almost get like someone may have thought they were superior here. Okay. I'm, I'm getting like, who are you dealing with? Some of this person is like, they, the, the personality type I'm getting from them, there's like, they're like, I'm more educated or I'm superior or I have more street smarts or I'm, I really feel like this person tried to make it seem like they were better than you on some level. That's the kind of character trait I'm getting from this person. And it's like, now they're coming back around and the justice in the situation is they can't get better than you. Hmm. Hmm.
I feel like somebody may have been a bit of a player or a manipulator. Okay, they may have... I don't want to say kept their options open fully because what's so interesting is like they wanted you, but it's like they needed attention from others as well. And now they're having a change of heart with that. But it's because you're, you may not be an option anymore or you don't appear to be an option anymore. It's like you're not around anymore and so they miss what they don't have. Yeah, Eight of Cups, Three of Cups. There is a reunion happening here. This person wants a second chance. The person who walked away from you or the person that you just could not trust, 222 two, two in the chat, they want to come back in for a second chance. Okay. We're going to do all signs, their sign. This is if you are dealing with this sign. Thank you guys for liking the video. I appreciate it. All right. Aries through Pisces universe, Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces, please. If you're dealing with an Aries, three of swords. I feel like the Aries is upset that, think of the magician. The Aries is upset that they couldn't manipulate you. For some of you guys, there's an Aries that may thought may have thought they could get one past you or manipulate you, but they're I'm getting they're more so upset that they couldn't manipulate you. Could have been a third party there. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they want your attention. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they're walking away. The Gemini's stubborn. That's why the Gemini's walking away right now because they're stubborn. They, I feel like the Gemini just wants you to take notice that they're walking away. If you're dealing with a Cancer, communication coming in, but it's very dry. Five, yeah, it's a, uh, uh, the Cancer is emotionally withdrawing, but I see them communicating with you, but they're not going to be. It's not going to be emotional. They're they're hiding their emotions. If you're dealing with a Leo. The Leo is losing hope for the situation. I feel like this Leo, just so you know, um, I, I think they have FOMO, a fear of missing out. I think the, the Leo is non-committal. If you're dealing with a Leo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, they're coming toward you. The Virgo is coming toward you to work it out, but I feel like uh, it kind of seems like a repeat, a repeated cycle. If you're dealing with a Libra, communication coming in. If Libra wants to tell you something. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the tower. Expect the unexpected, the moon. I feel like you and the Scorpio may wear a mask toward one another, but things are about to get revealed. I feel like you and I feel like the Scorpio is about to remove their mask. They may have been hiding an aspect of themselves that you're going to see. I'm getting an unex, unexpected communication from that Scorpio, un, an unexpected reveal. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I see an apology happening. Or if it's a new Sagittarius, uh, they're they're go they're coming towards you to offer you something. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the Capricorn misses you. Capricorn feels like this is they they feel something so familiar about you. They miss you when you're not around. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, secrets. 
Some of y'all, the Aquarius had a secret relationship that you found out about. That's why they ghosted you or that's why they're silent. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they want to give to this. The Pisces has feelings for you and they want to tell you how they feel. All right, guys. Thank y'all so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.